our encounter is going to be... I'm going to catch this, but I feel like I've already caught him on, like, this, on this line. Two hours later. I'm going to run back real quick, because I believe that that is a deuce. I believe that that's a deuce. We'll see in a second. Let's see. Moon Pokemon. It is. We gotta skip them. Okay. So we can't get another encounter. We can't get another encounter. We can re-encounter. Which is good. That is fantastical. Alright. Let's get an encounter here. Let's get an encounter right here. Show me something different. Our encounter is gonna be... back at it again being infamous in everything I do and welcome to episode number nine of the Pokemon Ruby randomizer curse lock series I hope you guys have an amazing day even though it is a Monday because like I always say nobody likes a Monday but I hope this video turns your Monday into a good day ladies and gents welcome on in my dudes like I said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I hope you guys continue to have an amazing day. It's the beginning of the week, and the week can only get better. The week can never get worse. Every cloud has a silver lining, and you know what? You, you're a piece of silver that's about to be gone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know what that intro was, but hey, we'll roll with it. <laughs> Yo, as you guys can already see, your boy is rocking the 13 Squad merch. If you want to get some of the merch today and rock out with the, t the squad that is perceived to be the unluckiest, definitely go check out the merch store. The merch store link will be in the description down below. Get yours today, my dudes. How, 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 how are you all doing? I, I can't ask it enough. You know, I'm always curious on how you guys are doing let me know in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen if you guys are excited for today's video and are excited to jump back into some more curse lock shenanigans be sure to fire press the like button because we greatly appreciate it and as always if you're new to the channel be sure to fire press the subscribe button as well of course if you want to insert a curse into the series and have your curse possibly selected be sure to go check the link in the description down below to go to the curse lock submission spreadsheet. All you have to do is, I swear, I, I swear, I, I love, I, please, I'm trying to do my intro, man. Can you work with me? Thank you. If you guys want to insert a curse and possibly have it selected, be sure to insert five things on the spreadsheet. I need a title what your challenge entails your name so you get the proper shout out and a reward if I win a punishment if I fail I numbers they're hard ladies and gents numbers are hard any puzzles welcome welcome, welcome. I, I I can't I, I'm having a good day okay can you guys tell I'm having a good day like your boy is looking your boy is looking clean in the merge game your boy went to go check out a couple apartments the room with the with the freaking strip light changing colors. We changing the name. Every episode, the lighting is going to be a little bit different. Let me know what you guys think about the lighting in this episode. Because that light, that light looking powerful, dog. Like, look at that. Go on, change colors again. Go on, change colors again. Hey. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to stop being weird. Hey, you Jerry. Head on over to the, to the layout, my dudes. It is a new episode, my dudes. It is time to jump back in the before. But before we go ahead and spin the wheel, I do want to preference this because in the last episode, I uh, it was brought to my attention that I didn't do the full curse. Uh, and that is because somebody changed what the curse actually said in the, uh, in the spreadsheet. 
Now, the curse that we had for the last episode was Get Ready for Rumble, which was submitted by Crunch Gaming. And he let me know in the comment section down below that the curse, uh, that pretty much the curse was changed. It originally said that I couldn't use my strongest mod, which is Gajio. And unfortunately, we used Gajio in the last episode. I asked him, what do you want me to do about it? Do you, uh, not, not in a real way. Like, do you count it as a win or do you count it as a loss because I didn't do the complete challenge? He let me know that he will still consider it a win. However, I still feel bad that I didn't do the full curse. So what I'm going to do is for the next episode when I gen everything in, I'm going to give myself five full restores and no revive. Instead of the 10 and the uh, and the revive that I got for doing the challenge, I'm going to get five full restores and that's it. I cannot preface this enough. If you guys insert a challenge or you guys go on that spreadsheet, please do not change anyone's curses because it ruins the experience and the person who submitted the curses does not get to see their curse fulfilled in the way that they perceived it. You know, the whole point of this series is to see the see me go through a challenge and see if I'm really truly a Pokemon master. So please, please, please do not change any of the curses on the spreadsheet. With that said, let's jump ahead, let's jump in and spin the wheel of curses and see what today's episode is going, or today's curse is going to be. And today's curse is going to be, I'm going to go up just a little bit more so I can, so we can see what it is. Blazing Claw Strike. Now, if I do remember, we aren't able, are we able to do this one? Let's see. Oh, we got some new curses in the spreadsheet. Hold up. I didn't even see these. Hold up. However, let's uh, continue. Let's keep on track. Blazing Claw Strike. You must catch the worst Pokemon found on either Fire Path or Mount Chimney and use it on your team for the full episode. All right. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in our pocket because we're nowhere near Fiery Path or Mount Chimney. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in our notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and re-spin the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the list. I'm going to go ahead and take it off the wheel and we're going to re-spin. And our challenge is Welsh Dragon Balance. Okay. So let me really quickly. Blazing Claw Strike in Fiery Path episode. Alright. So we have that marked down. We have that in oh, by the way, I got a new phone case. Looking sleek, isn't it? Also, shout out to the best girlfriend ever, Shiny. Um all right, let's see. What is the challenge for today's Wells Dragon Balance Breaker? You must only use Fire Dragon or Flying Types this episode. Don't have one? Catch the first one you find. This challenge was submitted by the one and only THP. The reward for this challenge is if you have fire flying or dragon before starting uh before start two encounters the next episode. If you don't, you must wait, 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 wait. If you don't, keep the mon you caught. Okay. So we have a flying type Pokemon, which is Dark Phoenix, which is the only one we can use. You must, if we were, if we were to lose, if we are to lose this challenge, you must sacrifice a team member. Oh, baby. All right. It is that time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our curse. We know the rules. And with that said, it is time to jump into a powerful team recap. Starting up team recap, we have Xeno, the Mewtwo, with the rough skin ability, the bow nature, now an item, but with the moves confusion, disable, and barrier. Coming up next, we have Gajio the Mutang, with the damp ability, the hasty nature, holding the king's rock, with the moves take down confusion, and metal claw. Coming up in the third in the third slot, we have Dark Phoenix, the Pidgeot, the Pokemon that we're going to be using for this entire episode, unless we catch any more. Maybe. We don't know until we get to the next route and or area. 
with the moves volts absorb or with the volts absorb ability the naive nature holding the king's rock and with the moves sky attack cut gust and quick attack next up we have ryan the corfish with the serene grace ability the hasty nature holding the skull plans with the moves bubble harden vice grip and leer next up we have cubelios the arbok with the drizzle ability the timid nature not on the item but rocking the moves rock rap i was almost said rock Rap, Leer, Poison Sting, and Bite. And finally, we have Grim the Slacking with the Volt Absorbability, the Serious Nature, Holding Yellow Shard, and Rocking the Moves, Scratch, Yawn, Flash, and Slack Off. Now this team they're rocking out with, but unfortunately, the only Mon we can use is the good old Dark Phoenix. Let's freaking do this. Now, normally in these, normally I would go straight back to, um, Normally, I would go straight back to, um, it's not Petalburg. I can't think of a title. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Restboro. Normally, I would go back to Restboro City and get the experience here. However, because we can only use one mod, I feel it'd be necessary not to go get it in this episode, but in the next episode, I will have the experience here. I'm going to do it right after I record this episode. I'm going to go get it. And we're going to put it on the mod because for the next episode, this challenge will be off. What I'm going to do real quick is over here on the spreadsheet, I'm going to go ahead and move this challenge down below into the completed curses list. Because whether we fail or we pass, we have completed this challenge. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and click onto the gameplay so that we don't have the gameplay sounding odd. Now, as you guys see, I can I am currently rocking the original 13 Squad merch. However, tonight, the new Halloween merch will be dropping. I've been saying it a lot, but it's finally dropping tonight. So definitely go check out the Halloween merch. And if you want to get some, be sure to grab it today. Now, before we do anything, I do want to grind up Dark Phoenix before we get any encounters. Before we do anything. I do want to grind up Dark Phoenix. This is probably the best thing to do right now because he's he's a little on the low end of the um, of the level up move party, if you want to term it like that. And I feel like this would be the great thing to do for this episode while we talk about how my day has been. Now, if you guys are not following me on Twitter, be sure to do so. I'll go ahead and play the animation right now. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, be sure to do so. That's at Jerry underscore Blaze uh, on Twitter. There's a link in the description down below. Or you can just uh, go to Twitter type in at Jerry underscore Blaze. But uh, earlier on today, I went to go check out some apartments. I went to go check out two apartments in the list of seven that me and Tyler, aka Mystic Fates, I'll leave a link in the description down below to his channel. And um, that we are planning on moving into this coming December, this coming January. Um, shout out to my homie Dizzy, aka Sensei Gua. Uh, definitely go check his channel out as well. I'll leave a link in the description for him as well. Definitely go check their channels out. They're freaking amazing content creators. Um, Dizzy was kind enough to take me to go check out these apartments, and I can't thank him enough for doing so. Um, me and Tyler, we've been spending the entire month of September looking for apartments and looking to see what is good. And we're now in the stage to where we need to go and see, like, what is a good place for us to live? Where is a good place for us to be and continue being content creators, you know? So, today we went to go check out two. And the two that we checked out, freaking amazing places. They both have their pros. They both have their cons. And it, it was very interesting. It was also, it was really fun. Because for you guys who don't know, if you guys are new to the channel, I love anything home related. Like, uh, home renovations, uh, building homes, all of that stuff. Like, I just absolutely get a, I get a thrill by watching stuff like that because it's freaking amazing. I honestly, truly, truly, truly get a thrill from watching stuff like that. And to finally go out and be like looking for my own place, it's just a, it's a refreshing experience. It's a very, 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 very huge refreshing experience that it, it, it was needed. It was needed. Um, I can honestly say I've been stressing out a lot about a lot of things, both school, both looking for the apartment, getting a car, YouTube. It, I, I've been stressing out a lot 
And to go out and just have fun and do something like that, it was just freaking amazing. Honestly, just one of the best things that I've done in a while, you know? And I, I, I just had a lot of fun. I honestly had a lot of fun doing it. Um, one, of, um, one other thing that I did, I'm going to go ahead and get 10 potions because we need it. I'm going to go ahead and get 10 potions because we definitely need them. And I'm going to look and see what we can sell. Let's see, what can I sell really quickly? I can sell this pearl that we found for 700. Uh, this max ether for a thousand. Uh, white blue, how much are you gonna give me at now? Mumu milk, 250. Miracle seed, 50. Berry juice, 50. Uh, I'm not gonna sell you my super potions. Spell tag, 50. Uh, bright powder, five. Gar spec, 350. Yep, I think that's. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, but going into like, what are the things that happened when we went to go check out the apartments? Right, the view to heading out to the first one that we went to, freaking amazing. There is a uh, mountain called uh, Pinnacle Mountain here in Little Rock. It is an amazing mountain. And you legit get a view of it while going, both going and leaving the place where we are, uh, where I went to go look. And it's so fucking amazing. I try not to curse throughout the series. I'm going to make a note to, uh, timestamp that real quick. Timestamp that curse. Uh, can you not put me to sleep? That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm going to use speed up real quick to get rid of that. And there we go. Um, it was freaking amazing. We drive over this huge bridge that is like over that goes over this water this amazing river uh, There's an island nearby that we can go and camp. It's like a camping location if we want to go camping it um, There's also a Like I said, you also have a pinnacle mountain that we can go to if we want to go and be adventurous it's freaking freaking amazing um when we went out there our tour guide i put the life of me a camera her name i apologize um she was freaking amazing she was she she was the face at that moment she was the face of the of the complex you know and she she graced us with being nice being awesome and honestly just just being a kind-hearted person to uh, show us around and everything we went to go see the rooms in this first place they're freaking amazing now the when it comes to like the floor plan for me and tyler what we're looking for is something that separates us like we want like typically for the floor plan we want to be separated essentially by the living room or by the kitchen we don't want our rooms close by each other Granted in this place like in this place our rooms are not separated by the living room or the uh, They're not separated by the living room. They're not separated by the kitchen. None of that. They're actually separated by the hallway You know, which is something that's a little iffy for us because we don't want to be too close to each other Where we hear each other whenever we're streaming or whenever we're recording um, Like I could be trying to sleep but Tyler could be recording or trying to stream um, and vice versa for Tyler Tyler could be trying to do something in his room and you know, I'd be making a ruckus and that's something that I don't want That's that's something we don't want. We don't want to be a bother to each other. However, this place is freaking amazing where they're not Exactly perpendicular to each other. You know the hallway extends a little further past where my room would be And so Tyler's not exactly right next door to my room. So it's really good in that sense. So I loved it I loved it um, in terms of like how the kitchen looks and everything like that We have an island that we can just put some bar stools at and everything like that We don't have to have like a dining room table or nothing like that, which I'm perfectly fine with I don't know how shiny is shiny did say that she did want like every now and then to, uh, For us to sit down and eat together as a family. So I'm down for that. Uh, just not all the time um, But I'm 100% down with eating like a family because that's essentially what we'll be will be a new family and then especially when we move into squad house squad house is going to be about five to seven of us and we're a family you know we got to eat together sometime all right really quickly let's put a pun in let's put a pin in it let's go ahead and get ourselves an encounter for slate plot city 
And I encounter for Slate. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I messed it up. Our encounter for Slateport City is going to... Alright, I'm going to move down and not... Alright, this is Route 1 9. Hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. We want Slateport. We want Slateport City. Alright, come on. Come on, don't make it... Don't make me... Don't make me look like a fool in front of the viewers. Come on. Come on, you're making me look like a fool. You're making me look like a fool. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah. There it is. Our encounter is going to be... I'm going to catch this, but I feel like I've already caught him on like this, on this line. So, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. Just, uh, alright. If it lives, if it lives a quick attack, then I'll catch it, but... Yeah, yeah. Really quickly, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna run back real quick, because I believe that that is a deuce. I believe that that's a deuce. We'll see in a second. Let's see. New Pokemon... It is. We got a skip room. Okay. So we can't get another encounter. We can't get another encounter. We can re-encounter. Which is good. That is fantastical. Alright. Let's get an encounter here. Let's get an encounter right here. Show me something different. Our encounter is going to be... Netball because it's a water type. Please, 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 please. Netball! Let's go! Hashtag 13 squad, baby! Let's go! Mm, I'm happy. I'm pumped. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. I'm going to go ahead and go to the comment section of the previous episode. Who are we nicknaming this powerful mon after? Who are we nicknaming this powerful mon after? You know what? You know what? We're going to nickname this after Crunch for giving us that amazing challenge in the last episode. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do his full on challenge. We're going to nickname this Kyogre Crunch. Shout out to you, homie. Shout out to you, dog. Let's freaking go. Woo! We got crushed the Kyogre. Yo. Hold up. I gotta go check this out. I gotta go check this out, dog. Hold up. Hold up. We gotta check this mon out. This bad boy right here. Summary. He has the Cloud Nine ability, Careful Nature. And he has water pulse and scary face. Hey, we got two legends. Yo, dog, this team is looking sick. This team is starting to look sick. All right, route 109. What is our route 109 encounter going to be? Let's see. Our route 109 encounter is going to be. Hey, I'll take a whooper. I'll take a whooper. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'll take a whooper. Yo, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Whooper. 
Woo, Bert. Uh, I'm going to have to hit it. have to hit it. I'm going to throw a Premier Ball. Maybe it'll stay in a Premier Ball. I don't want to hit it and kill it, you know? One more, one more. Let's go. We have to be patient. We have to be patient with it. Alright. Let's head over to the comment section again. We're going to nickname this Pokemon after McGill. Shout out to you, my dude. Thank you so much for answering the question of the day in the last episode. And for answering my question about Foresight. Shout out to you, my dude. This man said, I think Foresight makes it so both your action and your opponent's evasion stat are zero, which is why most hit Lee on Pokemon Showdown. Now, Foresight, high jump kick. Um, however, in Gen 2, and I think only in Gen 2, it can be used to hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves, and vice versa. There is some alternatives to it that still that it still to it that still does the vice versa thing. Auto Slew does make it possible to hit opponents, but only in Gen 3. While the ability Scrappy still makes it possible to hit ghost types with its immunity. Bam. So shout out to McGill for that awesome comment, my dude. That was insightful and really needed. Because I most definitely needed to know the answer to that question. So, we got McGill the Whooper. And let me know if I'm pronouncing your name right, my dude. I don't want to pronounce your names wrong. I really, truly hate it. It bugs the ever-living crap out of me. So let me know if I ever spell, if I ever mispronounce your name. And if I do, let me know in the comment section how to properly pronounce your name. Alright, let's go get our last encounter of the episode. And then we can wrap things up. Alright. Our final encounter of the episode is going to be a monkey! Monkey! Yo, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. All right. Did somebody have my... Okay, hold up. One um, um, moment stuff. Alright, my dudes, we are back. Sorry about that. Somebody was knocking at my door. It was maintenance. Uh, one of my roommates, his bathroom was clogged and everything like that. And they accidentally unclogged the wrong toilet. So, but, let's go ahead and try to catch this Mankey. We're going to throw a Safari Ball. Because can't you find Mankeys in a Safari? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right at all. Um, I don't want to kill this Mankey. I don't want to kill this, kill this Mankey. This will be our second fighting type in the PC, which is really good. That can be really, really good for our team. Ah, uh, I, I don't want to hit it because I don't want to kill it, you know? It's level 12, though. A quick attack shouldn't kill it. It's a normal type move. There it is. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm going to heal up. I'm going to quickly heal up. And then we're going to go for a Pokeball and see if that catches. Come on. Come on, Mankey. Join our team. Join us. Join us. Be a part of us. Be one of us. Let's go. Let's freaking go. All right. And for the last one of today, I'm going to nickname this after Stan Flo. Shout out to you, my dude. <laughs> this man. This man commented on the Benny and the Ink Machine stream. The time I don't watch YouTube for a day is the day you decide to play this. LOL. Yo, if you guys missed out on the Benny and the Ink Machine full playthrough stream, definitely, definitely, definitely go check it out. It was a freaking amazing time. I see why Ryan, I see why EQ, I see why they uh, recommended I play that game. It's freaking amazing, and I've been told that there is a second game being released. And let me know in the comment section. Comment, say, uh, comment question of the day. Should we do another playthrough 
of bending in the ink machine. I don't care whenever it happens, but should we do another playthrough of that game? I'd be down. I'd be down. It's pretty much New Game Plus, but we get to see the things that we didn't get to see in the first playthrough. I'd be down, because that was fun. That was a fun game. So we got Stan Flo. Let's go ahead and nickname this one. And then we'll check out both. Uh, both the Whooper and the Mankey. And then we'll wrap up this episode. Stan Flo. There we go. Alright, with that said, let's head on back to the Pokemon Center. Check out our PC. Check out the two new additions to the team. Let's see. Someone's PC. Move Pokemon. Alright, so we have Miguel the Whooper with the cute charm ability, the rash nature, holding TM47, which we'll take off in a second, and the moves Water Gun and Tail Whoop, along with Stanflow, who is holding a pearl. With the Hyper Cutter ability, the Hardy Nature, and the move Scratch, Leer, and Low Kick. Nice moves all around. Nice Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to take those off off screen. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode of the Pokemon Ruby Curse Lock. I will see you guys again on Wednesday for another episode. So definitely tune in. If you guys once again want to include a curse and possibly get it chosen for the next episode, be sure to go to the link in the description down below and insert a curse today. When you do so, please include five things. The name of the curse, what the curse entails, your name so you get the proper shout out, a reward if I pass, a punishment if I fail. Currently, we are undefeated in the curses. You guys, you guys are giving me some challenges. All right, like going through this entire episode with just one Pokemon, that's already hard as it is. Luckily, we didn't have to do a lot of battling or we didn't do a lot of battling in today's episode and we weren't at risk of losing our Pokemon. So that's a plus. If we would've came across a rock type or an electric type, we might've had to abandon the challenge. But luckily, we didn't have to do so. So shout out once again to THP for the awesome curse. And I can't wait to see what curse we spin on Wednesday. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to fire press the like button because I greatly appreciate it. And as always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to fire press the subscribe button as well. If you want to be nicknamed after our Pokemon in this series or any other series we do, be sure to answer the comment question of the day in the description down below. But with that said, I'm going to get up out. I am the infamous Vernon. Remember to be infamous in everything you do. I love you 3000, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.